Hello everyone. I'm sorry not to have brought you the fixtures yet. As you might have surmised, their release has been delayed due to the PCR retests of those working with infected coaches Onogawa and Otowayama. Those fixtures will be out in the next few hours, and I'll be sure to update you on them. Naturally, there's been an element of pre-tournament farce. Onoue Stable, to which Otoyama belongs, has already announced on Facebook that all its men, starting with Hokutenkai and Ryuko, will be out. Much to the annoyance of sumo press chief Shibatayama, who claimed nothing has been finalized yet. Even in a pandemic, it seems, sumo's high command insists on the same procedures being followed, not least when it comes to centralizing information. Nothing must change, is their view. We saw that with the concussion debacle, which resulted in zero reform to concussion procedure. We're seeing it again with the Kakuryu situation. The Yokozuna Council has been publicly embarrassed into silence by its own lack of power to make Kakuryu compete, or even listen to anything it says. It's clearly time to at least discuss reforming or scrapping this absurd body. But... Sumo chairman Hakkaku has shut down debate already, leaving all decisions on his future to Kakuryu himself. It's totally up to him, is what he told coach Michinoku yesterday, with nobody pressing him on why the rules on Yokozuna absence shouldn't be reviewed. Neither is ticketing policy set to change, despite the golden chance to transform the fan experience. Sumo's first reaction to the 50 million annual loss confirmed yesterday was to ardently wish for full houses to return. But it's clear many fans are overjoyed with the current system, which finally allows space in those Masu box seats to stretch legs and lay down bags. Of course, we all treasure our moments in a uniquely traditional atmosphere, and our spines tingle when a tightly packed 11,000 crowd roars on the underdog. But it's increasingly clear that neither the modern Japanese body, with less training in the Seiza position, nor the growing numbers of foreign bodies in the arena, with no Seiza training, find sitting four to a box either practical or comfortable. And we should add most of these bodies have grown larger in the decades since the box seats were designed. Sumo should be looking at the restricted seating arrangements and trying to devise a viable business plan perhaps even asking people to pay more for added comfort, at least to try and make the argument. And if they can't make enough money with half-full boxes, they could always opt for the chairs that the Kokugikan lays on for most other events staged there. But no, nothing is to change. And I find that sad. I know a lot of you have made great changes in your lives this past year, most of them, I imagine, involuntary. But we'd like to think that these changes can at least leave us better equipped to deal with what life throws at us in future. I have every confidence Sumo can survive this pandemic. I'm just worried that over-attachment to the status quo is forcing Sumo, and Japan as a whole, to shut down the core debates about how to transform people's lives for the better. I think that's useful background information to have when you ponder why Sumo behaves as it does. Okay, enough of the social commentary, and I'll be back later with the fixtures.